two games, and 79 and 80 or whatever. 79 and 79. Uh, we got 10 second violations of the free throw. Hasn't been called but once throughout the whole season. You know, so I was just upset about that. I don't see a lot of people really called for it. You know, even back when guys took a long time to get free throw, they was not called. So I was really upset about that. Um, obviously, you're, uh, you can appeal it, but chances are it. You're standing there, probably slim. Well, we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, you guys see what happens every night. You know, so there's nothing I can do about it. You know, I've adjusted to a lot of things in the field. Um, a lot of uh, uh, plays that uh, ref against me or, or whatever they do. You know, I've tried to keep my cool for the most part. Um, so, I mean, I think we'll see what goes on. Four days off. Yeah, yeah. Three days of rest. I always turn to positive. <laughs> you know, out of, out of any bad situation, so it is what it is. This was kind of supposed to be an uneventful night. You guys were using a lot of shoveling guys in and out. And you get the 18th, and Q gets tossed, and then overtime, big shots at the end. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a tough game for us. Uh, in the Q situation, I think Q was very upset. Uh, I think Henderson called him a couple times in, in the mouth. You know, Q had busted lip. And I, I guess he just got tired of it. You know, um, just reacted because it happened to him. And uh, you know, we're, right, we're right there with him, you know. Um, somebody continues to hit you. It's going to be hard not to retaliate, you know. He, he's cool. He's upset about <clears throat> how somebody to get into his head, you know, but it is what it is. And you got, you got the win. You got the win. Seeing that the season is, you know, I guess steadily approaching, what do you do to go back to the drawing board, per se, for the next year that's coming up? We're going to go for the playoffs mm -hmm. first. Right, but I'm saying, you know, in, in perspective, what do you do? Well, we got to get ready for the playoffs. You know, that's the only okay. thing that matters. The next season will come later on, but right now, uh, we just got to focus <clears> on <throat> uh, trying to win a championship. You know, we got the right team, we got the right uh, amount of talent. If you want to win, you just going to be the best to go out and play hard. And what's your main focus? What do you feel you guys need to be doing more of, if anything? Um, we got to stay disciplined on the defense. We got to trust each other. You know, and tell my teammates all the time, you know, I'm behind them. You know, so, you know, I have to pick up silly fouls and reach. And I'll always be there to erase the mistakes, you know, so we just got to trust each other. Just continue to flow, you know. Uh, I think sometimes when teams get down, you start rushing. And, uh, Everybody starts to support the field. You know, I think tonight we just settled down, got some good stops, and uh, hit some good shots. Everybody and his brother has been trying to teach you how to shoot free throws. Is it true that Jimmy Fallon is your now your free throw shooting coach oh, now? No. Uh, I mean, everybody can get out there and say they're the best free throw shooter in the world. Nobody's playing in front of 20,000 people. And running up and down the court shooting free throws when they're tired, you know. So, you know, there's nothing really wrong with my shot. You know, you just gotta have confidence in you keep shooting. Well, I noticed that he pulled out the milkshake on you there, though, and you knocked that one down. You said that? Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, he, on, on his show there. I didn't know if he was taking over trying to show you how to shoot free throws. Oh, no, no. Uh, last time we played, we had a shooting contest, and I won. I had to uh, go back go back at him. He wanted to rematch, and I won again. So good. You're a guy who likes playing the game and enjoys, and I'm going to say it, you get a lot of bogus calls on the court. Does that take away from the fun of playing the game? It does. Um, and I think uh, fans come to see a great show. I want to have fun. I want to be a part of the game. And I try to do as much as I can to you know, just have fun and be out there. And do what I can for the people who come and watch us play. This might be a long chance to get to see somebody play. And uh, if you're out there, just want to have as much fun as possible. I take the game very serious, you know, but at the same time, I'm going to have fun and do what I do best. And uh, you know, sometimes when the calls don't go my way, things happen out there that you know, frustrates me. 
And, you know, I just want to put on a good show for the fans. You know, so a lot of people who come to watch us play, never been to a basketball game, whatever it may be. And, uh, you know, sometimes they can take away from the fun. At this point in the season, they're talking about resting and all like that. Would you rather get up there and play, or would you rather take your rest this time of year? Well, you know, you want to rest, but at the same time, you want to stay in game shape. Um, you, you miss a couple of games, you know, it's tough to get back into the rhythm of playing the game. You, know, you, want, to, you want to play a little bit, but at the same time, you need to rest. So, while you're in the game, I would say now, uh, a lot of part of the season, you just want to focus on things. You know, get you to work on. You know, for us, like I tell you guys tonight, we got to work on helping each other on defense, pulling over early, uh, offense, picking over. Just all the small things. You know, it's it's not a lot of major things we need to work on. It's just a little, a little things here and there that will make us, you know, a lot better in the playoffs. You know, just the game is about possessions. So we want to make sure that we take care of the ball and do the right things and focus on focusing.